All right, I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I set up for our powerlifting and Olympic lifting meets we go to. This is my gym. We are extremely competitive. We go to a lot of meets. We take a lot of people with us. Normally, we'll have uh, 15, 20 people competing that I'm coaching. And there's a lot that goes into getting set up to coach all those people. So this next meet we're going to actually have a few coaches come down with the shadow to uh, learn how it runs in the back room, how we make everything run. So what I want them to be able to see now, and for you guys who are new coaches who haven't done this yet, how you set up for before the meet, because there's a lot of work that goes into it. So what I've done is these are all my lifters who are competing. I've got 22 names on this board of people who I'm gonna be I'm going to be coaching at a power lifting mate. So the way this works is I'm going to just get right into it. I start out with a whiteboard and I keep it up until uh, I get to the end of the process. So we'll take uh, my lifter here, Carmen. Awesome young lifter. She's a stud. Everyone will know her name very soon. So what I do with her is we get a three rep max on all of our lifts bench press, back squat, deadlift. I write it on the board, and then I put what each three rep max is. After I do those three rep maxes, I put, I get her age and her weight. Once I have the age and the weight, I get on to find where the records are. To, that way we can find out what records she's gonna be able to break based on what her weight is, what group or category one I have her in. So she is gonna be competing in the 165 junior, as well as uh, we're putting her in the open category, and she's gonna be competing in bench press only. So, what we've done is we've sat down, we've looked at her lifts on her three reps, figured out where we want her to break them up, where she can break the most records, and then we figure it out from there. So, we get our three reps, our three rep is what we use as our opener. There, now there's a hundred different ways, I'm sure, to get set up for a competition. This is what we've done, this is what works for us. So we get our three rep max. All these numbers right here are the three rep max of uh, our lifters who are competing. We follow it up, writing down their age and their weight category. Figure out what, their, uh, what division they're gonna be in because we wanna set them up for success. We don't go to a competition to lift. We go to a competition to break state and national records. Every time. There's uh, no other reason to go unless we're bringing back records. So, we use our three rep max to figure out our opener. So if you can do it three times, even if you're out having a bad day, it's gonna get you on the board. And that's the most important part, is getting on that board, getting points on the board that goes towards the total. Because if you uh, go too heavy, and they're having an off day, and they wind up missing their, uh, their opening squat, and they're gonna bomb out. And that is uh, the worst thing that could happen to us. So, three rep max is their opener. Next, we get their one rep max. Their one rep max is going to determine their second lift. So, we get the one rep max, and our second lift is going to be a small PR over that max. So, if, uh, just for easy math, we're talking freedom units and not kilos at this point. If uh, this person here has a one rep back squat of 230, then we're gonna go for a second lift as 232, 235. Because we want that person to get a PR. No matter what happens that day, we want them to get a PR. We want them to come back knowing that they have lifted the most weight they ever have in that lift. That's awesome. Um, by this point also, they should have broken a record. But that's how we operate. Um, again, it's not how everybody has to do it, but for us, by our second lift, we want the record broke. And normally, with our lifters, we do it on the first lift. If that's not happening, second lift, we're breaking a record. The third lift gets determined based off of how the second lift goes. So if they struggle with the second lift, then we might not want to go up so much. What I do after each, uh, after each lift, I ask the person, 
on a scale of one to 10, how hard was that? If they say it was a five, depending on the, my athlete and how well I know them, you know, we may go up 20 kilos. If they say, man, that was an eight, then we may shoot for five more kilos. It all depends. Um, but normally we go for something higher. We want to push ourselves on the third lift. Uh, normally we get those lifts. Um, so that's the way we get set up to find out how we're going into the competition. Take the athlete, we get a three rep max. After we have a three rep max, we write down their age and their weight. Then we go to the record sheet for whatever federation you're a part of. We find out where they need to be to break the most records. Following that, once we have that lined out, we go to, uh, we get their one rep max. And that's gonna tell us what their second lift is. Because it's always gonna be a small PR. Um, we never do less than a PR, ever. There's no point in it. Third lift is gonna be determined off of the second lift. Now, once we've done this, once I have all this information, which I do now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a picture of this board, I'm gonna go back, sit on my computer, and I'm gonna create a spreadsheet with all this information on it. Um, on the list, there's going beside their name, I'm gonna have their name, their age, their weight, their categories. They'll be, uh, it'll say first lift, it'll already have it in there. Beside that, there's gonna be a check, bo uh, check box, so I can check to make sure they got the lift. The second one, same thing, it'll be a check, they'll have the lift there. And there's gonna be space under it as well. So if the uh, first lift goes extremely easy, they're feeling really strong, their adrenaline's going, and we were intending to go for 480 for a second lift, but they're like, no, I'm feeling great, and they wanna go 510. Well, there's a spot depth. I leave a spot to where I can write in what the second lift was, or what the second lift's intended to be, with, with the checkbox beside it, so I can mark if they got it. And then there's a spot for a third lift. Off the sides on that paper, I have what the state records are, and I have what the national records are, with check boxes so I can check to make sure that we got each and every one of those. So that's it. That's how uh, we use this. That's how we figure out how we're going to do all of our uh, competitions. The same works for Olympic lifting. When we go to Olympic lifting meets, we do the exact same thing. We uh, open with our three rep max, whether it's snatch or clean and jerk. Second rep or second uh, attempt is always going to be a PR. Third attempt is going to be based off how they're feeling. Everything we do here, we use the swing block method. Look it up on Elite FTS. It's one of the greatest methods of strength training that there absolutely is, and it's been awesome. It's uh, working for a lot of gyms around the country now. And uh, guys, if you have any questions about how we do things, feel free to contact me. One of my favorite things in the world is getting to talk and work with other coaches. I love uh, getting to sit down and talk business. I love being able to help other coaches. I want to be able to affect most athletes as I absolutely can to increase their uh, their athletic career, the way I do that is by reaching the people who reaches those athletes. So if you got any questions, hit me up. Thanks.